Hey, this is Hornbush. This is a, a brand new property that we have permission to hunt. Uh, old Frank couldn't make it today, but this has just been tilled and chopped up, and it's just perfect for metal detecting. And uh, there's my buddy uh, Doug Town over there. He's uh, got him a signal that he's digging, but uh, we'll see at the first hole. Hey, this is Hornbush. Uh, this is my first hole of the day. Looks like I got a piece of Civil War lead. Looks to be uh, maybe a 58 round ball. It's pretty deformed, but it's it's a little bit bigger than a 44, so not sure I'll have to clean it up, but by the patina, it, it looks like Civil War lead. Well, that's a great find, I'll see you at the next hole. There's Doug, way down there. He's trying to dig to China. Uh, up here sweeping out of this hole, see that? It's harmonica reed. That's a good find. I've been hitting all sorts of, uh, uh, I'm not sure if it's agricultural or just uh, tack related iron up here, but I'm on a little rise here and this could end up being a honey hole. This uh, harmonica reed is, is a good start up here. I haven't gone up to the top yet and there, I have to cover a lot of ground, but that's a good find. I'll see you at the next hole. Hey, this is Hornbush. There's old Doug here on the crest of this hill trying to find something. Beautiful backdrop and back of him. Just awesome. Just awesome. Well, listen, I'm at my next hole here, and I found something that it appears to be maybe a small rivet onto some, some sort of copper material. So uh, that's a good find. I'll know more when I get a chance to clean it up. We'll see you at the next hole. Hey, this is Hornbush. I'm at my next hole, and I have just pulled out a Civil War rivet. That is awesome. That's beautiful brass. That is just awesome. I'm so happy to have that. Still has a little bit. Well, no, I, I think that's just dirt. I was going to say I thought I had it had some. No, it's just dirt. Thought it had some leather on it, but it doesn't. But that's a great find. I'll see you at the next hole. We may be on to something. Hey, this is Hornbush. Uh, at my next hole, right here, that is just about five inches down, I found the base of a 32 Smith & Wesson. Most of it's deteriorated off, but it's a, uh, a Rimfire 20, uh, 32 Smith & Wesson, so that's a great find. Uh, we think we're in a calf site here, but uh, we're still trying to develop it, find, find out different things. So we'll uh, see you at the next hole. Hey, this is old Hornbush uh, with Doug, and uh, he's got something that he just pulled out of that hole. Uh, he's using my AT Pro today, but that is a fine flat button. And on the back of it has some writing, but we don't have any water now to clean it off. But uh, it's uh, we'll report that later. And But uh, that's a great find, Doug. Awesome find, man. When Excellent. you do it, you do it right, man. <laughs> we'll see you next hole. Hey, this is Hornbush. This is the second afternoon I've been at this field, and I've worked my way up to where we were finding relics yesterday, and out of this hole, I found another harmonic part of a harmonica reed. So that's a really good find, and I'll see you guys next hole. Hey, this is Hornbush at my second hole here, and I pulled this out of it. It appears to me to be like a cast iron handle of some sort if anybody has a, any clear idea of what that is i'd appreciate them uh sending me a comment on it we'll see you at the next hole hey this is hornbush i'm at my next hole and i just popped this plug and uh you see what i got there i hope you can see it that that is a uh looks to be a spoon handle of some sort, a brass spoon handle. But that's a really good find. Oh, Frank is on the way out here, so you'll see him soon. But uh, that's a real good find. I'll see you at the next hole. Hey, this is Hornbush. There's old Frank digging up there, bending over. He's, he's using his GPX today. Uh, I was working my way down this field towards my truck because I was going to drive to a different part and I was swinging the coil and you see that that was one inch that was almost a sur uh, surface find 
but it's some sort of a pendant and it appears to have a, a face or a bust on this side and the other side appears to have a couple people uh, I don't uh, I don't have a toothbrush or my or water here so I'll clean this up later and uh, get back with you but man what a find I don't know what that is but it's definitely brass and it's definitely old so this is just real cool I'll see y'all at the next hole hey this is Hornbush with the after the hunt wrap up uh, this is uh, the new field that uh, that I've hunted for the last two afternoons uh, the finds are varied and I'm, I'm happy with the result but uh, you know I would have liked to have found uh, more stuff but at any rate this is uh, this is it and I, I'm happy with it uh, <clears throat> starting off from uh, left to right we have an old link uh, I thought this was a uh, when I made the video it had a greenish tint to it I thought it was brass but it isn't not really sure what that is that uh, now I have found uh, uh, iron confederate spurs in this general area that might be a part to one of them uh, they were cheaply made and, and fell apart uh, found two uh, pieces of uh, harmonica reed uh, I assume that this is a handle to a fry pan or some a skillet or something like that I uh, found a nice very nice uh, rivet and found this copper I don't know what it's to uh, it may be absolutely nothing but it may be period I don't know a uh, really nice square nail a fired 54 caliber round ball over here this is a, uh, a casing from a fired uh, 32 Smith & Wesson complete with the primer dent on it so that's a good find what's left of the casing anyway I thought this was a great button when I dug it up but it's a uh, UMC shotgun shell. It had a beautiful green patina, as you can see. And uh, so that's nothing. That, that's trash. But anyway, it really looked good in the hole. The find of the two days is this medallion. And I found this this afternoon. And I know that you can't see this real well because you can't see it real well in person holding it here. And I've been looking at it with a magnifying glass. And I'm going to try to uh, to get a better idea. But... As you can see right in here and back here is where the hair is. This is a bust of, of somebody looking over uh, from uh, left to right. And then on the back side, and I know you can't see it with this, but uh, there's it looks like a floral display or something along that line. Uh, it can also look, depending on how the light's on it, like it's a, like it's a Madonna maybe holding a baby. Uh, but... I'm not really clear on that now. I'm going to get with uh, some of my friends and, and see how to restore this and or at least uh, get it so we can you know make out what it is. But at any rate, this is a great find. It's heavy, it's brass. Um, apparently it you know it's got an eyelet there and apparently it fell off someone's chain a long time ago. I mean this was a this is in all likelihood a rev camp that we were at. I mean this may have been a good luck charm that that one of the troopers uh, mothers gave to him or, or wives or girlfriends for good luck or something like that but uh, at any rate I'm very fortunate to be holding it in my hand uh, and uh, you know I'm just uh, just thankful to, to have the opportunity to do this this hunting and this recovery of these uh, historic relics so God bless you for watching and we'll see you at the next hole